Okay, so this is a very early alpha tech demo of something I'm going to call uh, manic microbes, I think, probably. And that's some food you can, uh, your microbes can eat. And the little round spheres of different colours are the different microbes. Um, at the moment, there's just a randomly generated set of food and microbes. And the microbes... Uh, each sort of genus just starts with uh, its own colour just for identification for now and that's really all it means. Uh, the microbes uh, have a bit of code, well sensors, they can try and sense their environment and some code that acts as a sort of uh, digital DNA uh, you know, to actually process that sensory information and decide on actions. Uh, one of the actions can be to reproduce, if they do reproduce they uh, the offspring uh, is the same colour, although with slight, slight variations. Uh, but the main variation, genetic variation, is the actual um, variation in the DNA in the digital DNA code, which will mean it'll do slightly different things. Um, most of the changes will probably result in a negative impact. Uh, but if that's the case, then that uh, particular offspring will die out pretty quickly uh, and of course it's survival of the fittest so it's only those mutations benefit uh, you know beneficial mutations uh, that will cause the offspring to survive and go on and and breed and have more offspring um, and that's really it it's an evolution simulator uh, showing the process of evolution uh, via digital DNA uh, and you can also hand code the DNA if you like, so you can get in there and um, code it yourself, uh, and sort of a, like a C robots type affair. Uh, so pitch differently coded uh, microbes against each other, or just um, you know sit there and watch them flourish. Uh, the other idea is to have this in a sort of networked environment as well, so you could sort of literally release them into the wild uh, and a big sort of peer to peer based network. Uh, so they would always be running off in an environment somewhere. Um, and obviously the graphics, uh, I kind of envisioning just a sort of big 3D, t you know, uh, raindrop sitting on a leaf that's sort of meant to sort of fuzzy Amazon rainforest background to it. Um, and then sort of this is all this action is happening within that drop. 